So I just finished a step-by-step -step PC build guide in the Thermaltake TR100, but the PC powers on but does not post. So perfect opportunity to make a troubleshooting video and see what the problem is. So when I go ahead and power things on, on this side everything looks to be working. We're getting lights on our RAM, lights on our CPU cooler. But when we go around the other side there's absolutely nothing happening to our GPU. Normally the fans would be spinning up um, and there should be some lighting on the card but it looks like there's an issue with the power delivery to the GPU and there's no post on the monitor. So the first thing I'm going to do is check with cable management did I unplug any of the cables. So the 12 volt 2x6 cable does look to be really well plugged into the GPU at the top. And then we go around to our power supply. It's not the easiest to see this because of how the cables are managed which is why I hate troubleshooting small form factor builds. But definitely the cable looks to be well plugged into the power supply. It doesn't seem to be loose. Okay, so let's see if that makes any difference. So I can hear the PC powering on, the fans are spinning, but our GPU still looks to be dead. We're not getting a post on the monitor. And again, not the easiest for me to show you, but there is a debug LED illuminated at the bottom of the motherboard. So two other things that I'm noticing is that our fans have ramped down, indicating that the PC has probably posted, and the RGB on our RAM has turned to white. Now I do have a Windows install on this drive already, and my favorite color for setting all the RGB is white. So this makes me suspicious that the PC has posted, but we're just not seeing a picture out. So the CPU I'm using does have integrated graphics, so let's test that out. If we unplug the HDMI cable and plug it into the motherboard, and then we'll try again. So if we look over at the monitor, we have got a post. So this points to a problem with our graphics card. During the install, I did have a lot of problem with that riser cable at the bottom. Once we put it into the standoffs, it seemed to be pulling the riser cable out of the graphics card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the riser cable from the standoffs at the bottom and reinstall it into the graphics card. Okay, so we should now have a little bit of movement on that graphics card and riser cable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the clip from the riser cable. Okay, so we'll just reinsert that riser cable. And then we'll close the slot. And this time I'm just going to reinstall it without securing those two screws. Okay, let's see if that makes any difference. So again, obviously no life at all on the graphics card. And just for completeness, I'm going to try the riser cable. Oh, and actually the riser cable on this end has come loose. So if we push it in, there we go, that feels better. It looks like it's clicked into place. Okay, let's see if that made the difference. Ah, there we go. So we've got fans spinning on our graphics card and we'll just keep an eye on our monitor. And we've got a post on the monitor. Okay, so problem solved, it was just a loose riser cable. Now when I did plug the riser cable in, I did hear a click and I was happy it was pushed all the way in. But it has obviously come loose during the cable management. And this features ASUS's QSLIM technology. So whenever you pull the riser cable from this side, it will come out of the slot. If you pull it from this side, it won't. And I think what was happening whenever I was managing all the cables, I must have caused the riser cable to come loose. So quite a few important lessons, even if you have built your PC correctly, it is possible to unplug something when you're doing your cable management, so take care with that. This is the first time this has happened to me, and I think it was the QSLIM technology in this motherboard that rather than have to press a button anywhere, it's just pull up, pulling it from one side to cause the riser cable to come loose. So really interesting to see how this graphics card behaved without the riser cable plugged in. Even though we had a 12 volt 2x6 cable plugged in correctly and I was getting power through it, it just behaved completely dead without being plugged into the PCIe slot. So hopefully you have found these troubleshooting steps useful. I've made a whole lot of other troubleshooting videos and you'll find links to these in the description. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well.